What's going on, guys? This is Brian alongside a half. Aces. Aces, we are. Worth the download. Exactly. So today we're doing an album called AFI, the bracket, the blood album by, guess who? AFI. Um, what are we talking about, Aces? Well, let's talk about AFI a little bit. Um, so, I mean, they've been a pretty consistent band. You know, they've been out, they've been playing for a long time, right? Because, I mean, I got introduced to AFI back in 2000. Um, with uh, when they released that album, uh, well, I can't remember what it's called, "The Drowning of Something." But in, in either case, I remember it as the Morning Star album because that's where the you know the track "Morning Star" is on, which is probably my favorite AFI track. Mm-hmm. Um, which kind of brings me into, like I said, they're, they've been pretty consistent with their albums. They you know they drop one every like eh, I don't know three to four years. So it's been four years since they dropped their last album. Right, and uh, with what did have a really monster track, which was Miss Murder. Yeah, you kind of heard that track all over the place on the radio. It's still playing. It's like that particular song. Like you don't have to. You could be like into hip hop, whatever. That they like that song. Like everyone loved this song. I I would say right. Miss Murder. Yeah, yeah, I remember like when and I I was in high school when that when that song came out. Like you had I have guys who listen to it just like Eminem, like hip hop, hip hop, hardcore, and they're like, yo, you know that Miss Murder song? I was like, what? Anyways, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a good track, right? And I guess that's what I'm saying. That's why it, it still has a lot of play. Um, so that brings me into like what into this album, right? So fast forward four years. Here's this album now, um, the Blood album, and you know, going into it as you know an A5 fan, you know, I was pretty excited to listen through to this album. Um, you know, the the single Snowcats had been out for a couple of months actually. They released it really, really early on. Yeah. Uh, kind of trying to hype up this album and. Was I disappointed? No, I wasn't disappointed by this album. Was I blown away? No, I wasn't. I wasn't blown away by this album either. Um, I think it was a pretty good listen overall. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did enjoy. Like I said, I am an AFI fan, so like I found all the elements of an, you know of AFI tracks kind of in there. You know, you got like the the cool like you know arpeggiated guitars. You got like the good uh, you know the kind of screaming vocals. And I felt like they had a pretty good delivery overall. I enjoyed the album. Uh, I didn't find myself skipping any tracks by any mm. means. Um, but I didn't find myself blown away by it either. I don't know. How did you feel? Uh, you know what? I'm on the same boat. Because, like, I don't know. Like, we're, it's 2017, guys. And, like, if an, if an artist is trying to, like, ink, like, drop something amazing, like, it has to be amazing in my books, right? So with this particular album, I, you know, it, it was it was definitely a good listen. I enjoyed it, uh, but it wasn't like, you know, something I would like go out there and spend my money and actually buy the album or buy the record, right? So, and that's me being a fan. Like, I've been a fan, like, not as long as he has. I've been a fan since Ms. Murder, to be quite frank. Um, and I enjoyed that song in particular. I was expecting a little bit, oh, you know, AFI, going to bring back that hype, bring back that rock from back then. It didn't really happen in my books, unfortunately. Yeah, like uh, like if you're listening to it, I mean, I think at this point with a band like AFI, since they've been around for so many years, it's kind of like, you know, when they release an album, it's an album for the fans, ideally, right? Because, mm. I mean, the record companies know they're going to sell copies of this album, right? Yeah. People are going to download it regardless yeah. because they're fans. Um, do they deliver to their fans? I think so. I think, you know, they're, the fans will still enjoy the album. Uh, but, like, I'm sure you'll agree that you won't get blown away by it. And there isn't, like... You know, like a standout track, like you may remember in some other in some other albums. Like, there's no Miss Murder track on there, right? There's no Morning Star track, like I said. Like, there's, there's no anthem. No, yeah, there's no anthem track. There's no like one track that's gonna stand out there for you and just be like, that was a kick-ass. You know, yeah. like that one song made the album for me. You know, yeah. this is that this album I didn't feel had didn't have that power, didn't have that one standout track. But uh, but I mean, as a whole, the album still was pretty decent. Uh, like I said, you won't be disappointed. You might enjoy it. Definitely still worth a listen. But uh, that brings us to the main question. Is it worth a download for you? You know what? Like, I mean, it hurts me when I, <laughs> when I say this, but, like, in my books, no. It's not no? worth a download. It's it's worth to keep a couple tracks if you're really into, like, the album in particular. But, like, I I put, I put look at it more like this. Like, all right, there's this album, and then there's the other songs that, like, that happened previously. Which one would I rather keep? You know, it's quite obvious, you know, so... In my books, not worth all the download. Okay, and so what's going to be your score out of five? It's a tough one. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely a pass. So I would have to say at least three out of five uh, headbangs. Can we say that? <laughs> all right, we'll say headbangs. All right. Um, for me, like I said, uh, I am an AFI fan too. So like I said, no standout tracks that, that you know that came out from this album. But overall, still a pretty good delivery. I think any AFI fan will still find you know the, those little essences of, of AFI-ness in him. Right? So I give it a little bit more than a three i'll give it a 3.5 i 
Uh, maybe that's just a little bit of fan coming out, you know, in that score. But I think 3.5, I think you guys will probably find that to be pretty fair. Um, give it a listen regardless. I still, I still think, sorry, I still think it's worth the listen. Mm-hmm. Um, whether you'll keep the whole album on your on your phone, I don't know. But uh, but definitely, you know, go out there, give it a listen. So what are we doing next week? Next week, I can't pronounce this girl's name. She's I think she's Asian, but how, how do you pronounce it? I don't know. Was it Kalani? Kalani. <laughs> so anyways, Kalani, big artist, uh, big new artist. I think that she's going to do really well. We're doing that next week. The name of the album, I'm not quite sure. What was the name of the album? Uh, I didn't actually catch the name of the album, but don't worry about it. It's going to be the new Kalani album. So we you know, we were introduced to Kalani mainly, or at least where they peaked out, was through the Suicide Squad soundtrack, soundtrack. Uh, with uh, the song Gangster. So we're kind of interested to see what, you know, is going to come out of this album. We're Going in, no expectations. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we're, we're going like completely blind. I'm excited though because now we're not doing a band. We're actually doing an artist. So now we can kind of give it like an artist review. Like first off, like, you know, if you're interested, it's right there. So uh, with that note, we are worth the download, correct? We are worth the download. And make sure that you guys subscribe so you guys know when we drop that next uh, the next video. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, ladies.